Hello and welcome. In this short series of videos, we're going to be visiting properties that we've sold to people that have transformed them into lovely, stunning homes that you'll see. We're going to be looking at the highs, the lows, and the do's and the don'ts, and hopefully giving you a little bit of inspiration on how to transform your property into a home. I'm in the back garden of a property in Stelly Avenue on Canvey. But two years ago, I was standing in this very spot and I said this. The property is a project. Uh, it needs someone to come in with a little bit of imagination and change things around. But if you're prepared to put in that time and effort, you'll be rewarded with a lovely home. Now, let me show you what they have done. and Anita, thank you very much for taking time out to uh, talk to us. We sold this property to Anita and Graham in 2021, and since then, the property's been completely transformed, as you've seen from the clips that we've already shown. Okay, so the first um, question I wanted to ask, I'm gonna ask you to just cast your mind back. What was it about this house, this bungalow, that made you think, yeah, I can transform that and I can turn that into something fantastic? For me, I've always wanted to have a detached bungalow um, with the thought of retiring and having growing older here to think that there'd be nothing to do here once I've done it up and really I'm really quite eco I like to think that I'd like to encourage that more to have an eco-friendly home um, and the way that Covid was made me think about that even more and, and install that into the home that I want. Okay, I mean the, the eco credentials was something I was going to ask a, along the way but as you brought it up might as well um, talk about it now. Um, talk uh, for a minute about what you've done here that would have made the property more eco-friendly than it was previously. Well we've disconnected, there is no gas here now, there was gas and electric, just electric. <coughs> Uh, we took out all the old conventional radiators right. um, and now we've got an air source heat pump um, which is much more efficient, isn't it, way, the way to go yeah. forward. Um, unfortunately, we're not staying there, obviously, no. otherwise we will no. be selling the property, no. but we would have actually put on solar panels which would have enhanced that even more. Mm. So in theory, we would have been totally self-sufficient here because mm. the amount of savings that we've made with the heating um, is, is phenomenal really, yeah, isn't also it? Also the insulation is paramount when you're doing right, air source heat pumps. So it's so not just about heating it, but it's keeping the heat. No, it's yeah. retaining yeah. the heat, which is good. So mm. we, we put in the, the skylights, which are triple glazed. Okay. All the double glazed windows are argon filled gas. Right. Gives it much more efficient uh, ratings. We completely insulate underneath all the floor and then lay on top of the floor, then put the complete um, uh, underfloor heating right, in, okay. yeah. water system in, and then screened it all above that. So it all acts as one big radius, which mm. works really well. Okay. How much bigger has the property, I mean, obviously I, I, I know physically what I can see, but do you know figures of how much bigger the property is over what it was. I mean, uh, about, is it about double the size? It's double, 85%. Yeah. percent percent larger. We had a garage at the front with a, a you know greenhouse because they had this as part of their garden, front garden, which is totally gone now, but giving you uh, four parking spaces now, and that giving you a much bigger space for you to live in, a, yeah. a modern yeah. living, yeah. what we need now. Yeah, I must admit, it's, it's very rare now we see people actually put cars in, in garages anyway. So yeah, yeah. that, um, I mean, for, for people who, you'll see on the video, this property was just nestled right in the middle of the plot. You didn't even know it existed. I mean, I think yeah. when we first come to value it, we drove past it two or three times, not yeah. realizing uh, where it was. But now it can be seen from the road. It, it, I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it's been roughly two years, two years, two, two years yeah. Um, would you say that 
what you've ended up with is kind of other than extra things you'd have done like the solar panels kind of true to the vision that you started off with definitely yeah we definitely. we definitely i mean obviously because we were going to stay uh we went the extra mile to put in things that we wanted to have and the space the living the space, space which i think is in paramount um, you know, it's it's we've put in extra wide doors for wheelchair access because we've got someone in the family with that. So it, you know, it was important. Even the shower, considering everything with yeah. everyone in your family, and that's what if this becomes a family home, it, it's great because it will give you the space that a family would need. Of course. Yeah. What's your favourite part? Which, which bit? Makes you smile I love my kitchen. Then. I can understand that. I do yeah. love my kitchen. It's yeah. a fabulous kitchen. But you Who also wouldn't? love the bathroom. But I love my master right. bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She loves and bathroom. I think that's the most tranquil part. And yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, we've tried to keep into original things like, you know, original roll top baths. Mm. Make it something mm. a bit, little bit more luxurious. And I'm sure that the women out there would love to have a nice candle bath. Relax with yeah. a glass of wine. Yeah, I must admit, I mean, I saw it all lit up yesterday. We just part the lighting, and it looked yeah. it looks really really nice in there. Um, what compromises had to be made along the way, if any? Was there anything you really wanted to do, and it just didn't allow it for budget or planning reasons, anything like that? Well, initially, yeah, the planners refused permission. Right. Okay. Because of the uh, looking over the houses next door, they wanted front or rear access to right. living areas right okay. so we had to then completely rechange the plans to re reconfigure it but be honest it's not been a compromise it's actually enhanced our vision of our what we vision, wanted yeah. it's made okay. it much more open uh, rather the pantry being an individual room it's actually now part of the part kitchen. of the kitchen right. so them saying no uh, it kind of might, yeah the, the final oh, product's sorry. been better yeah. for you yeah <laughs> if you was to do it all again Again, um, say, same property. Would you do anything differently? Probably oh, not. No, no, I don't think no, we no. would. Because we've, we've if done we, if we, we were staying, I would have had the solars done, which yeah. is one thing I would have done. But really, yeah. that's really nothing else, is there? No, the space you want, the bathrooms you want. The, it's great. It's, mm. it's worked. No. Time scales. Did it all kind of go to plan? Was it? it, it was it? <laughs> Apart from rushing to get the weather boarding on just to get the house, get the place on the market. Um, what was your kind of original plan? And did did it all pan? We had to wait um, for the first lot of plans. Then they got rejected, so we had to. And Graham and I. It was a yeah. year, so that put us back. Right. Then we had a few problems in the heat last year with bricklayers. Um, it was too hot for them to lay the bricks for the cement. So we're probably running about, what, four or five months behind, probably? Something like that. Yeah, we initially but there was really about a year. not that. Yeah. So we're just a little bit over, really. I mean, From what it was here to what's here. But it's not just the extension. And we've actually upgraded the old building right, but, yeah. and put new flooring and screeded that. It's been rewired. It's been replumbed from new, you know, from yeah, old plumbing to new. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that that, that was the. Have else no. that in the no. We would definitely change that next time. <laughs> that would definitely do, even if it's in a caravan. Yeah. I would definitely. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a few new yes. builds where uh, builds where they put a static caravan on, living that yeah. while the while the build's yeah, going on. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, any unexpected um, surprises uh, along the way? Anything that you that kind of blindsided you and you thought, oh my god? Initially. On Canby Island, you need to have a floating raft as a foundation, right, yeah. which we wasn't aware of. We knew that the, the existing place on a floating raft, but we had to extend that add, to the new, the, uh, the, the, the new floating raft to the old one. We had to tie it together, right. and the amount of steel work and cost for a floating raft for a big extension mm. was way above our budget. Way above. That we anticipated, but that's the only thing that really came along and bit us, really, wasn't it? Mm. Well, that brings me on to probably my last. Um, question and that's um, budget so when you first planned it all out how much did you expect it to, to come to what Not enough in the right okay <laughs> right initially we, we worked on about 75 to 80 thousand pounds right um, but obviously with the price of the um, the raft being what it was mm. um, and then we decided to go for the, was the tim everything got up so much mm. after covid and also with all the extra heating systems and 
extra plumbings and lighting we put and in. And because at that point we obviously still didn't know we were moving. No. We were still we staying. Didn't mind putting yeah. the money so we didn't mm. mind putting the money in because it was us that was going to stay here and we were going to benefit mm. from mm. it. So, but hopefully now someone will benefit and appreciate mm. it. Yes. You and know, then, that's what we'd like. And it's probably come to about, we've probably up to about 122, 123,000 pounds yeah. above. Yeah. So I've heard of yeah. budgets running away a lot more than, mm. not more than that. It's, it's, you know, within a reasonable time and within a reasonable budget, I think you've done <laughs> extremely uh, extremely well out of it and uh, the, the, the end result is absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, so guys, just again, thanks very much for taking the time to, uh, to do this and uh, yeah, thanks. No.